Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. It is Friday, people. Like, I need the excitement level top notch. We have a lot of things in store for you and I promise it's going to be really entertaining. If you are joining in for the first time, this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We are an entertainment analysis show that has brains, vibes, laughter. We give you to like bus boost, everything packed in one. If the topic is big enough, we will talk about it. If your, if your favorite celeb has done something that needs to be spoken about, we will dissect and analyze it. So, Please do make sure that you stick around for more. Um, and to do that with me, I'm not alone. So in case you're watching and you think I'm just the person you'd be seeing, which is not a bad idea, I'm fine. But I have two special people with me to do the analysis, and that's Ifalua Shake and Emerald. So welcome, guys. What up? What up? What up? Hello. How are you doing today? Well, how are you? Not it is Friday. Well. What are you doing? Friday. Why are you complaining about your makeup? But I have. About it's too what? loud, I beg. Well, it looks pretty on you. <laughs> oh, thank you. I think I. When did she come? Did she complain? Yeah. Ah, oh, you're not even listening. Anyway, you're on your phone. You're on your phone. <laughs> I was where? You're on your phone. When? Ha. <laughs> Just now. Yes. I'm, it. I'm not even with my phone. Sure. Should I raise up your hand? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing Friday? I don't think I've ever asked you what you do Friday. What do I do Friday? Mm -hmm. I basically um, shoot videos for okay. YouTube mm. and but most times I edit so mm. I'm always in Dublin. I think we've elevated it that's a bit better than Black Friday and Netflix Netflix mm. and sleeping uh -huh, sleeping not uh, not anything mm. what no. exactly is Black we, Friday we, we've upgraded don't worry you What's, tell me, tell me <laughs> about it what, what the person I used to sit there do? on that table before you used to say every Friday that I'm just gonna watch Netflix I'm uh, looking forward to Black Friday <laughs> I had something to buy by 8 p.m. <laughs> I thought it was like different kind of Black Friday, not the usual going to buy no, something. No, 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 buying. Buying something, but how um, was even online? It's not like I didn't share. <laughs> what are anyway. you doing on Friday, Black Friday? <laughs> <laughs> um, what about you, Ife? Do you have anything that you're doing for Black Friday? Um, okay, so I usually don't plan Fridays, you know mm. that. So um, I'm probably just going to be hanging out with friends, you know, a few drinks here and mm. there. And but you look forward to anything. it. He does look yes, forward to yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, I, and I really don't like it when I have busy Fridays, mm. and today seems to be a busy me Friday. Too. Today's me. a busy yeah. Friday as well. Busy yeah. Friday. It's not. I guess I'm the only one who... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I always like know. when my Friday is like super Because free. then you'll not be, there'll, there'll not be a period for me when I'm really busy. There'll be a period where I'm really cranky because the work mm. has not finished. Yeah, and it's shaking me to too. Yeah, let's <laughs> 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 I'm like, I need oh, to get out of here. Or they're already calling you like, yo, oh, where you at? Yeah, we feel where I need there. And then they're like, you need to do this on Saturday yeah. round up. And, uh, so anything so happens upsetting. on Friday, anything happens on the weekend, man. Yeah. Yeah, we get wild. Everything and anything. young and wild and free. All right. So what we get drunk. Okay. So, so what we smoke. There's a lot of things wrong with that. So please, <laughs> why should we have on this table? We don't do such things. Say no to drinking alcohol and. Yeah, a lot of other things, you know. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Because we don't Drink do that on this table. Drink only water. Only water. Except, yeah. except the wine. Except sense. the wine that Jesus has turned to water. Yeah. If you can find that one, then you can drink it. The wine that Jesus has. Yes, if it's possible for the wine that Jesus <laughs> because, has turned to water. Because Jesus actually turned water. Do you think that, you think that the water, the wine drinking. is alcoholic? Jesus turned water into. You don't know your scriptures, you know. The, it water into wine. And was the wine alcoholic or not? It was. It was alcoholic. Oh, spicy! <laughs> they said the wine intoxicated. That's fantastic. <laughs> so that's the back end for you know. Being, I'm telling it, you, it's okay to drink. So I'm gonna be intoxicated uh, today. Not you too will much be. Anyway. Wowzy! I like that. Mm -hmm. You like the sound of I that? I like that. Just don't wake up with a hangover. No, I'm actually <laughs> getting older. Okay, sorry, you were saying something. Yeah. If I've been screaming, older. um, water is good for your body. Water is good for your body. That because I feel like it's because you, you've been drinking water since like since like now. And this is the first day ever that he's drinking water like so they must hear about it so he's been sure. screaming water is good for your body even before now we go here water is good for your body drink since water since when if you time. barely drink water you drink coke guys, in the morning what are you but, on about uh, but guys just think about it i've been drinking tea for so long don't you think <laughs> but it's tea time yeah. so <laughs> so today i just said let me just change it you know let's so you're a water. fraud you're not drinking tea on tea time is this water time? Well, Leave this premises, sir. You have been evicted well, from guys, the tea time table. Well, guys, I hope you guys table. understand. And I hope they have your cup of tea, too, you know. Help me. All righty. Okay, so please grab your cup of tea as well because it is time to start dissecting all the gist that has happened so far. So US-based Nigerian rapper Young Six has admitted having a net worth of over 3.7 
billion yeah. naira. I didn't say million. I said billion, and I said young mm. six. I didn't say um, uh, what's his name, Dangote. Okay, I think it was made possible through God. Ah, God, when? <laughs> God, when? This is my own God when, I'm sorry. <laughs> but do you guys actually believe it's, what, 3.7 billion? Well, I don't know. Well, He's... the rapper disclosed this on a, in a recent question and answer session he had with his fans via his Instagram official page. So just in case you want to add that to it. O obviously not, except he's doing fraud. You don't believe him? Either he's a yaw boy. Or because he's capping. Is it wait, is it because it's or, from Young Sis? Yes, because it's from Young Sis. So if it was to be, if it was to be somebody that has been making millions and, and you know, do you have any musician that will say on what three point seven billion? Well, he's not really saying he's making what? his music for music. To be fair, he's not so saying that. He's not singing anymore. Now. Has he even dropped an EP? Come on, he's singing like now. Very relevant, you know. Please tell me one song. I don't know about relevant, but I know he's Fam. still singing. But he's still a musician. That's yeah. what I mean. Like, okay, he yeah, hasn't yeah. told you he's hanging a boot anytime soon. When did he, when was the album? Okay, he said they have a, he I'm has not an a album. Fan of young six six o'clock. So, yeah, I'm not. Yes, six o'clock. Two thousand and when? Two thousand and was old. I? Two thousand and eight. Please clear us from my side. <laughs> no, I think he's had like an, a new EP. Okay, two thousand and eight. Two thousand and eighteen. Still, that's not relevant. Relevant is somebody who was trending last week. Somebody who, well, who had a record 18? label yeah. or, you know, something 18. last That's year. A long time. It's a long time. It's actually. a long time. Yeah. And then it's how we're going to use to eat. So if he's, if he's, if he, yeah, if he has 3.7 million, I was going to say, what, how much is Bonaboy and all those people? How much do they earn? I mean, how much do they have? What's their net worth? I don't know. How, I don't know. But I, I don't think we have that culture of keeping net worth here. You get because people Some people are, do. Be, people usually But it's very flawed. Deep. It's yeah, very you see, flawed. You it don't even know the basis of, you know, choose, um, stating your net worth. Yes. You well, actually, I remember Elsie was a former co anchor on this table who one, mentioned one that dollars. she checked. No, it was $1 million. Farabale, I said down. $1 million. Oh, I thought I said $1 billion. I said $1 million. Okay. And she said she Googled her net worth and she saw it there. So she didn't even put it there. So you have to start asking who said who, who makes this. I can this. put out your net worth now. I actually don't have a problem with that because How I don't know. How much do you want like, to be worth? Let me put it out there. <laughs> I'm coming Five first. Don't dollars. worry. <laughs> I don't put a price on I don't me. I don't have a problem. I don't I don't doubt what he's saying. Really? Since he's uh, the one saying it. So if I say that like, I fly I feel, at night, I feel like I, if I say that my I, my special be, power is be, walking through doors, actually, would you believe me? It could be that it's, I, sorry, not? what did you say? Like I walk through doors, that's my special power. Why would I, why would <laughs> I doubt saying it? that you fly at night or you walk through doors? Because I say it makes I'll just leave it with you. Huh? I'll just I'll just take it like you said it. Okay, okay, that's it. There's no, there's nothing that I, w I could possibly say that you know that yeah, for a fact so that I'm lying. Closure. Unless I know, but this particular one now, about you walking through doors. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're lying, so. No, me, I have closure. <laughs> it would just be clarity for me. Oh, that explains uh, uh, oh, oh, it. if I have a power to walk through doors, <laughs> I'll have gone through G GT bank, GT bank, uh, been annoying my soul. <laughs> Enter their vault like this. Pack money. I can't be giving you guys. You uh, just talk to me nice. I said, there you go, a million dollars for you. I'm wow. Money. If I could walk through those. I'll go with you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you see, another thing about this particular story is that somebody actually said it. And he it said it's only through God. Mm. It doesn't really mean that he's saying yeah, that I the number like is extremely accurate. I think what he's trying to insinuate is that um, I have a lot of wealth. And that's coming through God. Mm. Maybe not necessarily agreeing to like the particular mm. number and stuff but it's i heard around that happened. he's not his hands are not very clean but let me go and jabble mm. before well, i feel like say. he's trying to say or i mean use the term that Bobrisky said people should use this year if god if people ask you how did you make this how come this and i'll just say my dear now god do say, say the way he she he, 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 <laughs> okay he it. Well, you guys get confused when you're my talking friend, about that brother if your friend asks you how did you get this money? Morning. This morning. <laughs> just say, it's God, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, babe. <laughs> that girl. Okay? Wow. Well, you guys are saying it with a cool accent, though. So. But that's how he that's tried to twist see, his, his... See, that boy is, is, is... He's speaking up. He's, yes, he he's is. Yeah, yeah, actually, he's getting he cleaner. Yeah. His makeup is getting nicer. He's looking more pink. No, he's talking better. Mm. Do you guys see the review? You don't think his makeup is looking nice? It's nice, but with filter. Mm. Without well, his whole filter, life is filters now. Without filter, his face is different. I heard, I heard brown. somebody told me that like she, she saw him in she public. She no, the girl, she saw Bob Risky in public and that he looked 
nothing. Like yeah, you could actually I saw him see, as well. Like, uh, you know, yeah. the beard, beard thingy. That's true. Totally true. And his skin is not even... Why are we even talking about Bosque Burberry skin? This is not, like, like, this is not, okay, this is not about it. Let's get back. Yeah, let's, let's move on. But are we done with the, this guy's story? Oh. Young Six? Yes. Yeah. Hi, okay. uh, fair. That's Did fine. he do something to offend you? Who? Young Six. No, I wasn't. He said he's not a fan, so it's okay. No, no, I'm, I wasn't even talking about Young Six. That's just more fun. Alrighty. I will... I'll be your command. Nigerian <laughs> comedian Bovi, I'm just going to skip his son, has reacted after controversial journalist Kemi Olunoyo claimed she dreamt of his death, which is such a weird thing. Olunoyo recently took to her Twitter account to narrate a dream she had about the comedian. According to the journalist, everyone in her dream kept on saying that the comedian had passed on. After that, the journalist further stated that after she woke up, like that wasn't weird enough, after she woke up, she Googled his name only to find out that he's a Nigerian comedian. So in her words, good morning. My dream that lasted till 6.45, accurately, a.m., with Nollywood executives calling me to show up at a meeting. Everybody shouting, Bovi is dead, Bovi is dead. And I was an actress in the dream. Woke up and Googled his name. Turns out to be a, a Nigerian comedian. May this guy live long. Now, Bovi, obviously, who sees this, then reacts and... <laughs> Smartly gets a screenshot of, of, of Kemi Olunoyo, who has obviously um, acknowledged um, Bovi in so many tweets ages ago, and then posting and saying amen. But next time, check your old tweets. So I think uh, Kemi Olunoyo is... Ah, is that a nice word to say on TV? Because I don't know, have any other words for it. Oh, that's the word. Line. I even think it's delusion, in my opinion. Like <laughs> that's what a true delusion looks like when but you she's think. She's never denied uh, mental health issues, so I. I but I, she I, said, but I thought, I thought it. it was the time she said she's, um, she's like, Over that. yeah, she's getting better from that, or she's obviously she's better already. You get better, but it's not gone completely. You have episodes, and I think this is just one of those. <laughs> just yeah. before we continue, when you episodes. said. Uh, Bobby's dead. Bobby's dead. It sounded like a cartoon. <laughs> that was really hilarious. <laughs> hey, well, uh, I think I think for me this is a serious problem. Like, um, how can you dream about? Yeah, and dead? obviously it's a lie because um, you jabbered when you said you went to go and Google the guy. Google so the that name. means technically speaking, you actually know who this guy is. Mm -hmm. So then you just thought in your house. I need to. I, I talk about? Yes, I need I to say something. Um, and then you go as far. As saying, oh my gosh, I had a dream and this person... I mean, we used to see that in movies where there are people who just cook up things for a living. Like, yeah. just to stare up drama. I think they're bored in life or something. Mm. But this is really scary for me because Kemi is... Mrs. Kemi, Dr. Kemi, is a grown woman who has a lot of influence. So she has an authorit authoritative figure already. For the yeah. fact that she's older, when in a society where being older holds authority, yeah. you are... You have um, accolades to your name. You're a journalist, you're, you're a doctor. I don't know if you've got Dr. Sha, mm. but if you're a doctor, you have influence, you're an influencer. And then for you to now have so much audience that are listening to your cock and bull story is a bit wild to me because she's done this for so many other things. This just looks like a dramatic one because it's death. But she comes around and says, this person called me, um, the IGP called me and said, there's going to be 10 people who are going to go to some place and shoot people. Do you know she does that? Like, yeah. you know, sending messages across causing fear. So I don't know what to do with this you know, story. I'm just thinking, like, is she, is she trying to add um, being a prophet to the list of things mm. she does? Because in 2016, she said um, our celebrity heist has um, happened when she said he lost his... Um, what his watch was snatched so she saw that in 2016 and then she's and seen she that he's dead that actually, this year yeah. yeah so i think she's becoming a prophet so prophet dr <laughs> mrs kemi <Olunoyo>. mm -hmm. <laughs> she should be grateful the way um bobby had handled it yeah i mean because some people would have gone really extreme like taking what it what the heck is wrong with taking you? it from just um tweeting and going for that to like i don't I think mean, it's that funny and where do you draw the line between like a threat you know, because that sounds like a like no, very casual. Not. Yeah, because you're you're say, see you're saying that you saw somebody that died, and we all know that it's a lie. What are you? I don't know. I don't find it funny. I feel like they should treat it the same way as somebody who says I will kill, I'll you. kill you. Because no, I think that's too deep. Ah, that's, no, going, that's, that's too deep. That's reaching. Fam, <laughs> why are you dreaming about me dying? And we we all know you did but not how, dream about how, me how dying. Would you react to why somebody? are you choosing my name? To, co to cook up your story about okay, let's death. let's even assume That's somebody walks me. up to you and says, oh, I had a dream, this is what the dream was about. And I know for sure that the person was lying. What would you do? And I know for sure the person yeah. was lying. 
yeah. won't find it funny. Mm. Like, it's either well, you need what mental. Would you do? See, it, it, okay, maybe it's because I also grew up in the West and um, psychopaths reveal themselves like that. That's mm. how psychopaths are. They will say something to you like, you know, I hate you so much, you shouldn't live. Mm. Yeah. And, or they'll say um, something about you, something really crazy. They'll do really, really crazy stuff. And then two weeks after, they are with guns shooting down schools. This is not funny to me at all. First of all, well, it is too specific. Kemi Why are you choosing my name? No, knowing Kemi, you just know it's just one of her. I think that's why, that's why Bobby just. Yeah, until it's so no longer funny. But okay. Like that, mm. Well, it's not that deep. She has done even worse things. Until it's not. Until it's really it's not that deep. She has said mm. worse things than this one, you know? Yeah. To people. So no, I'm, see, I'm not even trying to make this specific to Kemi. I'm just saying, people like this, who say things as drastic as that, I worry about. Okay. I'm not saying that she's going to go shoot down from, people saying, next it's year. Kemi, cause it's, um, Kemi I don't. I think that. I think to me, that's. I think that's too lousy to behave because you don't know Kemi that much to be that confident and say nothing is going to well, happen. Like she said, she's she said okay. Worst things about all the people. She yeah. said worst things. Do you understand? And they never come. True, and so you you can guarantee I, the consistency in future. You can't. If you don't no, know, I can't. I'm saying what, I get what you're saying, but let's just so let's just keep. Okay, so what you want? What would you? Advise? I'm not saying. See, people. people I'm just your saying. Brother, what would you? I'm saying to, to me, if I was <laughs> Bovi, if I was Bovi, I wouldn't just end it as social media. I would try and get somebody who knows Kemi properly to make sure that she's actually okay and that she makes sure that she doesn't have any intentions with me. I would take it further, have a conversation with her, uh, babe. What's up? Uh, is everything like? Is everything babe? good? Or or even if I don't have a, even if I don't have a relationship mm -hmm. with her, maybe her friends and family. Like this person said this about this, you know. Okay, let me give an example. There was a guy in my on my street when I was much younger who I, I don't remember, really remember. So my parents told me who like did something really weird to me. Like he called me and told me to do something, 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 something. And I remember I was really weirded out by that conversation. And then I told my my mom about him. Oh, that's really strange. Da, 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 da. And for some reason they did not take it as loud as casual as you did. And then they went to talk to that person like, oh, just for casual conversation. Like, oh, is, is everything okay? Da, 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 da. When my mom was leaving the house, his brother called my mom to the side and said that that guy exploits women. Mm. Oh. Yes. And what he said to me was not in any way about exploiting, but it was weird. Mm. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. maybe, I'm not, maybe I'm exaggerating it, comparing her to a psychopath, which is not what I'm trying to do. But I'm just saying things like so that. Things like that, it's, it's not too done. casual. It's just like, let's just make sure that everything is okay. That's all. But I feel like um, the, the, what Bobby did was just the best thing to do, knowing mm. fully where who this woman is. I yeah. mean, we've well, had stories of her doing worse things. So um, going for that to like follow up and all of that, we just, I feel like it's just a waste of time. I think that's just what she wants, you know, for people to check up and be like, oh, I remember her because she's been on the low for a while. So, what if she doesn't get the attention? She's just something worse to get the attention. I'm just saying, let's just be more careful, to be honest. Yeah, in my opinion. I get it. Be like, more okay, careful. Um, Bovi, be, Bovi, be careful. Kemi, Kemi may come for you. He is careful. He is actually, because he's quite whatever. Anyway. Why, why did she say that he is careful? I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've even met his, I think they go to House on the Rock, met his wife and stuff. You cannot go close to these people, like, at all. He's quite protective about his family, as every man should be, to be honest. Most celebrities are actually quite careful. But anyway, whatever. Moving on, singer Omale has stated that he was robbed at an airport at, um, with his lap, about his laptop. Microphone and audio interface were removed from his box. The singer, who had a running with Ugandan authorities last year, um, disclosed this on his Twitter handle this evening, or yesterday evening. He, however, did not state in which airport he was robbed. And I quote, so they stole my laptop, microphone, and audio interface from my box at the airport, LMAO. Y'all looking for a hit record or what? Mm. If, for, if for energy, Sha. Mm -hmm. I like mm. the way he joked about it. Like, psh, what are you this, looking for? Well, hearing the story, it just takes me back to what um, Simi... Um, what she, I think, tweeted about the one time, yeah, about anxiety, about mm. the, ins, um, the security level in the country and all that. But still, he did, even as he didn't state the, it was in an airport. He was robbed in an yeah, airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he didn't state what airport, yeah. whether it's the US or so. But if they can rob somebody like that, they can rob anybody. <laughs> but yeah, but usually, I think that is common in airports when you see, you know, a celebrity and then they go through their bags, especially if it's not locked. It's not even about celebrities now. You even random do they really, people. Do they really yeah, they, they take don't, stuff they don't out really, of your bag. They don't yes, really they do. search them like that. They don't search celebrities. Yeah, do they? Like very Why wouldn't they search celebrities? They're not celebrities. as they search a normal person. I get what you mean, Sha. 
Like not as intensely. Uh, yeah. Except yeah, but that's not you, supposed really... to be the procedure. Of though. course, I check so. everybody. It's not a perfect you know, world. Now it happens. Yeah. But I think they search people who they profile the most. If they think that you look like somebody who could do something, they would search you. If you have chains on, a dyed hair or something, they might search mm -hmm. you a lot more than like a pregnant woman or like a 60 year old, for yeah. example. Well, this is not even a case of searching now. This is a case of, you know, the cargo guys, you yeah. know, when they're moving your yeah. stuff, especially when they say, oh, this is not um, a hand luggage. Mm. This is um, something you have to put in the cargo. That's definitely so before you do that, you know, they have to transport the bags, the boxes to another place, yeah. and then you have to wait a while for you to come out. So you could be in the process of transporting it there or the process of you picking up your stuff. Was, yeah. was, was, that, was that when, uh, oh, I didn't even know that that was um, how he was driving. I thought it was maybe road or something close to the airport. Oh, or, no, 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 it was definitely oh. in the airport. But you see, what I didn't understand is in that story was why he would put all that in his um, check-in luggages. Usually that is in your backpack, your hand luggage. They even ask you when you're putting your, your luggage on the thing to... Move. to move like do you have a, any batteries in there do you have a laptop in there do you have a power bank in there or whatever they will ask you if you have liquid and stuff mm -hmm. so i do i don't know if it was his personal luggage and then somebody actually like physically attacked he didn't really give More much information, information. Yeah. but yeah. from the tone of it i don't think he was present i think he was unaware that his stuff was was mm -hmm. was no, being robbed and just saw that it was yeah but then me, except for my box actually yeah but which box Hand yeah. luggage box. It could be the cargo. And it's not even a box. I don't even speak that kind of English. It's My a box that I have, but... <laughs> it's a suitcase. Anyway, well, I think what what made me oh, what re made it really stand out was when they said laptop, microphone, da 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 da. I think he was. I think his luggage or his suitcase, hand luggage, big box was obviously marked. Like they had noticed that this is um, what's it called, Omalay's. Okay, so, so let's say it was the one that was checked in. They must have tracked it and tracked it even at the cargo thing where it starts to come out before it comes out to us obviously that maybe that's yeah. where they robbed him and stuff but do you think in his in his tweet do you think that the person who marked on my lay marked his box was looking for a, a hit record, record. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know um he, he traveled why would he even put that really why <laughs> no, it's a show have, off you have... for energy it's showing <laughs> off a big <laughs> No, the thing is, he traveled to Ghana recently to go um, record with Whiskey. So maybe that guy is just a Whiskey FC or Omar mm. FC and he just wants to hear the jam first. If you're obsessed with Whiskey every time. Like, you think that everybody is going around looking for, thinking about oh, Whiskey. So you think I'm actually going to go around to go look for Omar box to hear the song first? Because of Whiskey. That's yeah. what, that, you're the one, I should be asking you're you, you're the one who talked so about that. You're saying I'm obsessed, like I was making. You're the one who brought it up, if it, like you had to, think, of all the things to say, you think that we're well, so obsessed with Whiskey, we're going to look through Omar Lee to find Whiskey. It's not, it's not that deep. You know? I beg, it's, it actually, it's actually very soft, which is why I said, are you guys looking for a hit record? I thought we are going to be bantering about this. Not again. Let's fight.